One for wigs, one for wigs, wigs, one for one for. Welcome back to another episode of Wonderful Wigs. Today I'm wearing that wig I've been speaking about for the last week by RPG Show. And I was very happy to get this wig. You know, I bought this after my first wig and I've worn it like three or four times and I'm always very happy with it. Sometimes I make the hair a little bit less bouffant, a little bit flatter and I use um, either this Aussie moisturizing cream that I got from Think Pink or else you know there are many other products that you can use for that as well like all these different types of mousses that you see around that they use also for the baby hairs and I'm generally happy with this wig uh, I had it in a middle part but I changed it today because it didn't uh, look so good as I expected I'll show you the back of it very thick and very full so if you can deal with this much hair I think it's a really good choice like I said sometimes you can even flatten this hair out make it very straight and very um, sleek I guess you would call it a sort of silk press but uh, it would take a lot of work to do that and like I said I'll link it down below to another hair influencer who did it extremely well I mean I don't have the patience for that kind of work but if you are a hairstylist or if you're able to manage a uh, big thick hair like this it's probably worth it to be able to convert this wig from what you see right here into very uh, straight haircut um, I used on this uh, wig these drops here JVN drops they were linked in someone else's channel here I hope you can see it these JVN drops and they're really great I mean they're not oily in any way at all they're not heavy in any way at all it always adds shine to the hair in a very uh, delicate and natural way and I really I, I love using them in all types of hair curly hair straight hair blonde hair black hair uh, it works really well on human hair and uh, I have an upcoming episode in mind I wanted to mention as well so yes this this unit I would definitely uh, invest in an RPG show wig because it's uh, they're really top of the line and they really do look good they last as long as you treat them well I don't use this very often like I said and I don't often weigh down the edges with the harsh uh, adhesive any type of glue really just a basic um, installation most of the time that I hold for a couple hours and then I take it off but yes I was gonna say I was hoping to get some feedback about an episode about natural hair natural in the sense of the hair we have on our head and how we care for that so if you are interested in that please leave a comment down below I'm happy to share what I do for my natural hair for a long time I just put braids underneath it but I've been influenced by a couple other <laughs> wig channels where the girls have gone completely bald and I don't necessarily want to go completely bald but I think I want to lighten my hair so that underneath I have a more scalp like color than my black hair which is normally uh, under there and it will I wear wigs almost every day like I said so it will make it a bit easier than constantly having to braid the hair I know uh, protective styles are really what wigs are about but um, if you keep the wig on for a really long time, perhaps that's working for you. But for me, like I said, taking it on and off every day, it might be easier just to have shorter hair that's a lighter color underneath. And now that the weather is warming up a bit, if I go out, I will probably be happy to have less hair on my head and a lighter color for the weather. Anyway, so let me know what uh, your thoughts are for the future of how we can make this channel really pop i'm not sure where else to go other than you know this wig installation thing which everyone does and everyone does extremely well but i'm sure i can contribute something else in terms of reviews in terms of human hair wigs and synthetic wigs so by all means please let me know down in the comments if there's something that i'm not addressing that you'd like me to address and i'll be back next week with some new synthetics as well as another colorful human hair wig that I've been putting aside because again it takes a lot of work for me to style these and I'm not necessarily the number one stylist. Anyway have a great week and I'll see you again soon on another episode of Wonderful Wigs. Wonderful Wigs! Wonderful Wigs! Wigs! Wonderful! Wonderful!
Bubbles.